Sample exam two, question three. An oil production company wants to decide whether it benefits from long-term relationships with its drilling contractors. If the answer is yes, how much does the length of partnership shorten the dates required for its drilling project? The company's internal historical data has the following variables. So here are a list of variables. And the question asks you to run a multiple regression with drilling speed as the dependent variable, as the y, and the other variables after variable coding as the x's, and answer the following questions. So in particular, what should be noted is that first project ID, although it appears as numbers, it is only used to identify each project. So do not include this in your regression. And there are two categorical variables. One is field. There are four different fields. And the second is whether the field is for oil or gas. So for these categorical variables, we need to code them before we can run the regression. And finally, we have length in years as a partner, the experience of the contractor, the age of the drill rigs, and of course, the Y drilling speed. Now let's take a look at the data. So in this Excel sheet, we have all the variables we have just talked about. In particular, drilling speed measured by feet per day. This is our Y. And our X variables should include the field after coding, oil or gas after coding, and the length in years as a partner, the experience measured in years, and the age of the drilling rig. So now we need to code these categorical variables. We know field has four different fields, so we need three additional variables to code that. So let's select columns D, E, and F. The reason why I'm not coding right next to it is because in a regression, the X variables have to be next to each other. So I'm going to stack all these x variables on the right of all these categorical variables. So insert. So four different fields, we need three indicator variables. Let's call the first one field PB, representing Permian Basin. And then the second variable, let's call it uh, field FWB, representing Fort Worth Basin. And, and the third one, field representing South Oklahoma. So for coding these indicator variables, we just need to do if equals if, parenthesis, if this field B2 is equal to, parenthesis, per mean basin quote comma if that is true then we give it a value of one otherwise we give it a value of zero and close the parenthesis and similarly we'll code this as equals if b2 is equal to quote fort worth basin quote comma 1, comma 0, close the parenthesis, and enter. Now for the category Southern Oklahoma, we'll do equals if parenthesis, if this field is equal to quote, Southern Oklahoma, if it's true, then it's 1, otherwise 0, and close the parenthesis and enter. Now we can copy these three categorical variables all the way down. And as you can see that if the field is for the Worth Basin, and then this indicator variable is 1, if it's Southern Oklahoma, then this indicator variable is 1, if it's Permian Basin, and this indicator variable is 1. If it's East Texas Basin, then all three are zeros. All right.
So now let's create the indicator variable for oil or gas. Right click on column G and insert. And let's call this indicator variable oil. So V equal to if, if this in C2 is equal to quote oil and comma and then this indicator variable is one otherwise it's zero close the parenthesis and enter now double click to copy this all the way down now you can see that whenever it's oil it's one whenever it's gas it's zero now we have finished variable coding next we run the regression with the variables in column k as the y and these variables as the x's and go to data data analysis and you'll see many selections all the way down here is regression click ok now the y range select the first cell in column k and use Control shift down to select the whole column and now for axis, scroll up, choose D1 and select columns D to J and control shift down to select the whole area. Since we have selected the first row, so we have the labels, check labels, and then click OK. So now we have the regression results. Let's rename this regression and expand the columns to see all the text now let's shrink the number of digits here so that we can read these numbers better go to home and then shrink the number of digits let's keep three digits and here as well so first we see that the r square for the results is point 698 it's about 0.7 so overall it's a pretty good data fit with that r square and we talked about for these coefficients in order for us to interpret them we want the p values to be below 0.05 in this case actually all the p values are below 0.05 so which means we can freely interpret the magnitudes of these variables now let's look at the questions based on the regression results. So A, statistically, does the length of partnership influence drilling efficiency? So does the length of partnership influence drilling efficiency? So let's answer this here. A, yes, the length of partnership influences trading efficiency and it also asks if the length of partnership increases by two years everything else equal on average how many more feet would it drill per day so if length of partnership if length partner increase by two we have two times the coefficient here 26.48 that's equal to 52.816 feet per day increase in drilling speed so this follows straightly from regression, right? So for the regression, our result is basically we have drilling speed equals the intercept here, 9,024.839 plus minus 119 times the indicator variable for Permian Basin. Let me put this. 
and then plus 189 times the indicator variable for Fort Worth Basin and then again plus negative 164 not keeping any digits times the field of southern Oklahoma and the plus minus 369 times the indicator variable for oil and then plus 26 times length under and plus 16 times the appearance and then plus minus 122 times the age of the rig. Okay, so this is basically the regression results. Right, let me and then for these questions, we are basically using the regression result to figure each one of them out. So we have done A to part B, one extra year of partnership versus one extra year of contractor experience, which is more important for improving drilling speed. So since 26, this is Lance Partner. is larger than 16, this is appearance, the former matters more for drilling speed. Okay, and part C, which field is the easiest to drill after controlling for all the other factors? So this boils down to interpretation of the coefficients in front of these indicator variables. So we have the baseline is Eastern Texas is at zero. If it's Permian Basin, it's multiplied by this negative 119. So Permian Basin is 119 feet slower than Eastern Texas, the baseline. So since that is zero. And then Southern Oklahoma, again, is similarly is slower. And the Fort Worth Basin is 189 feet faster than the baseline. So this basically is the fastest based on the regression result. So Fort Worth Basin has the fastest trailing speed. So it's perhaps the easiest to field to drill. And part D, historical records show that for an average project, if the company can drill a thousand feet more per day, the financial gain is about a million dollars. The company knows that it can invest $500,000 on retooling in each project. That is equivalent to decreasing the rig age by three years. So is it a worthwhile investment? So here we want to look at if we decrease rigor age by three, how much would that increase our drilling speed? So that would be the coefficient for rig age minus 122 times decreasing the rig age by three, so my, minus three. So that gives us the improvement in trading speed, that's 366 feet per day. So that $500,000 investment can improve the drilling speed by 366 feet per day. So is it worth it? This is a relatively easy comparison and 366 feet per day and the financial gain relative speaking is times the one million dollars 
divided by a thousand feet. So that's the financial gain per feet. And let's calculate that equals to and enter. So that's three hundred sixty-six thousand dollars. That's the financial gain from retooling. Comparing to the cost of five hundred thousand. So let's use the currency here. And as you can see, the cost is higher than the benefits. So retooling is not a worthwhile investment. So now you see how we can use regression results to answer managerial questions. That concludes this video.